Welcome to everyone. Today's video is about the second episode of this special project with Julie Montagu, well known as the American Viscountess, the name of her YouTube channel. If you haven't seen the previous episode where we show her two spectacular apartment for sale in Central Florence, please click here. And today I'm going to see Julie to show her other two luxury, beautiful apartments here in the city center. So let's go to meet her and to start with the first property. Buongiorno. 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 Um, I am so excited to see this apartment. This one is a big renovation project, is that right? An Absolutely. opportunity. It's a total opportunity as this amazing palace from the 16th century. So we are talking about Renaissance again. And the 800 square meters <gasps> apartment. Oh my goodness. On three different floors. The most important part will be in the noble floor where there is a salone, a living space. Yes, yes, I can't wait to see that. Around 100 square meters. <laughs> and what is interesting that we're gonna meet the architect to see the project. Okay, okay, fantastic. So how this gonna be? Right, yes. Luxury apartment uh, yeah. in the future. Yeah, who should we go in? Let's go. All right. This is incredible. I literally felt like I'm walking up a red carpet. It's true. I mean, and it's incredible that this majestic staircase is part of the private apartment. Yes. We just passed the courtyard. Yes. And in the courtyard there are other two apartments and also you can actually enter with the car and just park at the beginning of the court. Right, right. I mean, it's a, it's a real plus. Yeah, it's a real plus to have parking. I mean, yeah, exactly. I think now we should go there, yes. the noble floor, which is okay. the most important one. And we're gonna see the architect to talk about the project. Okay, okay, fantastic. Right, great. Well, anything with frescoes and nobility, <laughs> yeah. I love. I know, I know. Hello, hi, Andrea. Hello, Chiara. He is the architect <gasps> commissioned by the family for the project. So I'm just looking around and we had mentioned before when we were walking in that this was once originally built for a noble family. Yes. And you can see those elements obviously from the sofito and just the carvings around. But this space, you'll, it will stay the same? It has to or? Actually, it is a building is wonderful, but it's an office. It was a long, a long proceed because different authorities asked not to change the actual aspect, in mm -hmm. particular of this room, of the frescoes in the ceilings in the other rooms. But with a long discussion, they consented us to do some changes that are important for the family life. And also to make this place yes. a home. Let's yeah. go into the project. Yeah. The important uh, was for the family to have a private garden, a private terrace garden. Ah. Because it's a very special thing in the center of the town of Florence. So we decided together to have a principal bedroom looking into the street. Yes. And to have uh, two other principal rooms. One room will have direct access to a private trusted garden. <gasps> and I dreamed for the family um, to have a, a very special luxury space, mm. offering them a private garden, a master suite. Yes. Yes. With yes. The, the central portion of very, very high, five meters high. Five meters, sofito. Yes. Sofito. sofito. With a skylight in the center. With a skylight. Yeah. And this is a private garden, mm. as it will become, with the bedroom I here. See. At with, this floor. This is the room in the upper floor. <gasps> It's a vertical Just, garden. Incredible. In this one, there will be the, the, the big kitchen here. Ah. Yes. 
because uh, we prefer to offer to the family a very family life. Mm, so yeah. uh, we created a big kitchen opened uh, to the living room. Yeah, because you can entertain yes. here. Um, we will create a very big central space, the courtyard. Ah, so okay. You can see, see so it. Yes, the, the entrance, family. yes. yes. And uh, in particular, a wellness area, a mm. new one, completely with the sauna. Yes, yes. Sauna. yes. <gasps> the amam. So let me just so Chiara and I, we entered here yeah. in Grasso. We walked down here, and then that fantastic space yes. there. I, then, of course, there's the entrance to that. And then here you have it. You've got um, Soparco Apartimentino, so a small apartment yes, here. here. We have this little apartment, yeah. useful for guests or collaborators to the family. But we have another apartment on the second floor too. Right. Yes, another more or less 100 square meters. Oh my goodness. Yes. A little living room, another big mm. bedroom uh, with its private bathroom. Right. This is a project with the authorization. That means that the who will buy this place have already a project to follow. Thank you very much Andrea Thank Salinas you to you, for Chiara. your yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And la prossima uh, volta noi uh, diciamo in italiano perché io provo a parlare <laughs> meglio. D'accordo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was fantastic to sit and speak to the architect, Andrea, and be able to visualize uh, what this space could be. Okay, I'm gonna head back into really, you know, the focal point of this incredible palazzo, which is this room here, this salone, uh, ballroom. I mean, I can just imagine people coming here, dancing the night away. And it's wonderful that Andrea will be making sure that this space will once again be used in the same way that it was used in the past. What's also just absolutely brilliant about this room is the light, paintings, that you see the frescoes are really being able to shine because of the amount of natural light that's coming into this room. And many of you know, this is something that I'm incredibly passionate about because I'm fascinated how, you know, historical homes like these are still being able to be preserved and recreated back into what they once were, which is private family home. Just finished our visit in the third apartment. It was incredible. Let's say palace. Yeah, palace. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It was a palace. 3.5 million. But what is incredible is the potential of Absolutely. the project. Absolutely. It has huge potential. But now we're going to see the last one. So I don't want to say where is it. As I told you, it's a surprise. So let's go. Okay, I'm so excited. The last apartment. This apartment, we are actually in the noble floor of the palace. Okay. Right, and you've mentioned that before, that this is the noble floor, and what does that mean exactly? Because it's actually the first floor. And okay. since the past, in all the palazzo, the family used to live in the noble floor. So we are in this apartment, we are talking about 280 square meters, uh, with four master bedrooms, with ensuite bathroom, and uh, amazing living space with the balcony 
with that amazing view that you will see Okay, later. <laughs> so excited, I'm so excited. Just talking a bit about the palace, the dating back to the 16th century, so okay. the Renaissance period yeah. of the Medici and everything. The renovation, in my opinion, is one of the plus of this property because it was made in a perfect way and everything is so prestigious. Also yeah, the yeah, finishing, yeah. the materials they it's use. It's meticulous. I can already see walking in, it's done at such a pristine level. The craftsman ship here is is spectacular absolutely the owner made this fantastic renovation because also the aim of him was to rent it out for a luxury short-term rent right house. right yeah i would like to leave you here for a night <gasps> wait no for a night <laughs> yeah not just you're kidding me no so i get to spend the night here yes if oh, you like i would love to <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes. To have this opportunity to feel yes, yeah. the, the space, Take it the all atmosphere, in. <gasps> uh, the Medici shadows. <laughs> this so. is unbelievable. I cannot believe I get to spend the night here. Ciao, Julie. Okay, ciao. We'll see you tomorrow. See, si, si. ci okay. vediamo domani. Mm. Okay, incredible. Enjoy. Thank you, what a treat. I cannot believe I get to spend the night here. Look at this balcony. I mean, come rain or shine, Florence is always beautiful, but you, can you imagine sitting out here on the balcony and looking at the Piazza Pitti? This is where the Medici family, you know, once lived. And you can have your tea, your coffee, your aperitivo on this incredible balcony overlooking these extraordinary views. and I've got to decide which bedroom I'm going to sleep in. But every single bedroom is en suite. So, and you might not think that as you walk into this room, which again, amazing frescoes above. But what's fascinating is that here's the shower, right behind the bed. So you can't even see it when you walk in. It's brilliantly designed. Uh, another bedroom here and all of these bathrooms are just brilliant. I mean, marble everywhere, so you can just see beautiful marble. I mean, Italy is the home of marble. I just love, when I walk around this apartment, I love just seeing the original paintings right here. Just like, oh, I'll make sure I don't get my shoes. But here, just lying here and waking up like this and just imagining I don't know, life in Italy, living in Italy. <laughs> but that's not the case for me, it might be for you. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And, oh, oh dear, oh dear. I just, I just dropped the cork in the restaurant down below, but hopefully they'll forgive me. And I've got my glass. I think I'm going to give cheers to Florence, one of the most magical cities in the entire world. Okay, so I have had the most magnificent night here. I cannot believe that <laughs> I was able to spend the night here. It's incredible. I'm basically sleeping in front of where the Medici family it is. It really is. started. So after having seen this, we can say, spectacular apartment, unique, maybe the best at the moment for sale in the market in the city center of Florence, if you had to decide which mm. is your favorite, I knew you were gonna ask me that, Chiara. <laughs> and you know, I've been thinking about that. And it's, you know, it's really hard for me to decide because the first apartment we went to, you know, had that just extraordinary gardens. I was able to walk up the tower and see the views of Florence. And that's just, 
in my head. Then the second apartment that we went to, you know, it was magnificent and with all the frescoes and Buonatalanti and Lapi, but they made it such a home feeling. I loved that as well. And then, you know, the third apartment, ugh, there's just so much potential there. You have that incredible Sofito and um, the architect and showing us the potential. And then of course, here, it's, you've just, as you said, it's a surprise because this view and this location. It's the only for sale in this square, you know? So I can't, I can't really say I have a favorite because I see so many positives with all of them. You know, I just feel like I'm the luckiest girl in the world. So, so, so I can't decide. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. but we can ask the viewers to decide because you just need to vote which apartment makes you want to leave whatever you're doing right now come here and and live in that apartment so we'd love you to vote down below all the details down below to be a part of this italian giveaway and we'll be choosing the winner very very soon but again all the details down below I'm very curious about the response of the audience <laughs> and the people what 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 are they gonna say yeah, absolutely we are yeah. waiting for this Thank you, Cheers. Julie, Thanks, here. Kiara. Should we just sit back, relax, Absolutely. and enjoy, enjoy the view? <laughs> Absolutely.